Tom Poco. When I first reviewed this movie in my journal, I remember being much, much nicer to it. Surprisingly so. But after thinking about it for a very long time and reflecting on it from my memories, I'll be honest with you guys, there is just only one reason that you would possibly want to watch this movie. And it's kind of embarrassing to say. The truth is, the only reason anybody watches this movie, it's because of Tanuki Balls. All right, let me explain what I'm talking about. So, tanukis in Japanese culture are yokai, which are like demonic spirits or just spiritual and they could be good or bad. And the tanuki are kind of good yokai monster spirit thingies. And one of their characteristics is that they can stretch their testicles so much that they can just bounce around everywhere with them and they can do basically anything with them. They can fly, they can bounce, they can do whatever the f they can do magic with them. I knew about that before watching this movie and I knew that this movie had those scenes in it and that's really the main reason that I was kind of interested. I got that and yeah, that's about it. That's all I liked about it. So yeah, there is nothing else of value here. Let's go on to the next review. I'm joking guys, I'm joking. Honestly, I have to give it a fair chance and try to reflect and see if there's anything else that's good about this movie. So to give you guys a little bit of a synopsis, the movie is about all of these tanukis which live in the forest and you know, big bad humans are going to destroy their home and they're attacking the humans to see if they can fight for their land. So pretty much this is an environmental story while it's also teaching you about the Tanuki Yokai at the same time. Now I'm gonna say this straight up, I actually really don't like environmental stories. I feel like they're really shoehorned in and I'm honestly sick of them. It's a trope that I just can't stand at this point. And this movie was definitely no exception to that. There is one thing, however, that was interesting about this movie and that is the scene almost at the last arc where the yokai do this kind of Japanese traditional parade filled with yokai monsters and all these colors and flashings and spirits and honestly that was a pretty <laughs> epic scene it was the only epic scene in the entire movie but the problem is we had to sit through an hour and 50 minutes of just boring bland monotony of how these tanukis live and i feel like the concept is kind of cool but Overall, it was a lot of a waste of time and I feel like I could have just invested that time reading about Tanuki super quickly instead of watching this long <laughs> movie. The sad thing about it is that I do believe that the movie was targeted for kids, but I feel like if a child watched this movie, they would just not be interested at all. It would not hold their attention. So it does kind of fail at that, unfortunately. So good intentions. But unfortunately, the movie is just not worth watching. 